Hi there. Just getting over a bad case of gas. <clears throat> That's gear acquisition syndrome, actually. Over the years, I've been guilty of it, uh, uh, let's just say, purchasing a little more than I actually needed. In many cases, purchasing just because it was different, just because it was new. Listen, keep one thing in mind. Camera companies are not in the business of keeping you happy. They're in the business of keeping their shareholders happy. Unless, of course, you happen to be one of those shareholders. In other words, they want to sell you something. And since digital came along, the rush to sell has become greater and greater and greater. We, we live in an age where, uh, as the old 80s movie uh, uh, Wall Street said, uh, greed works. And unfortunately, that there's a certain amount of truth to that. These companies just want you to buy. The result is that you often make purchases that maybe you shouldn't have. I first got into Micro Four Thirds a little while ago with this camera right here, a few years back. Uh, it was a very nice camera, took very nice pictures, had reasonable speed autofocus, it was still a lot faster than I could focus manually, and uh, had interchangeable lenses. It was Micro Four Thirds. This is an EPL1, Olympus. Shortly after, I bought an EP2, which is filming this right now. Uh, a sturdier camera, but without the nice little features like this bounceable fat flash. Anyhow, over the next period of time, I ended up purchasing this camera, the EPM one. And that was my first mistake. The EPM one had a different control layout. It was quite compact, very hard to hold on to. Uh, I used it for video for a while, but now, because it has faster autofocus than the older cameras, I've simply stuck this telephoto zoom on it and a viewfinder, and it sits on my kitchen counter waiting for the family of pheasants to come out of the trees in my backyard. Does it serve a purpose? Yes. Much better than sticking a big old DSLR on the counter. It doesn't take up much space. I can even sit there vertically. Enough about that. What did I learn? didn't really need all that. The images from the other cameras were great. The last new purchase I made was an EP5. Now why an EP5 you say? Especially after what I just said. The EP5 did actually have some major advantages and the larger uh, sensor at 16 megapixels. It had better autofocus, it had a touch screen. A lot of great things and it was also a very good deal. It will do me now for quite some time. I think I'm over the gas. In digital SLRs, I really have hit the wall. My last purchase was a Pentax K3. Um, now, please, no comments about how, well, why didn't you get a real camera? Pentax is a quite capable camera system. And the K3 is a very nice camera with dual card slots. That was something I really wanted. I do an occasional paid gig. And when you are taking pictures with one card, there's always the risk that something will go wrong with that card. With my dual card slots, I now send JPEGs to one card, RAW files to the other card, and if one card gets corrupted, I will have the other set of images. So, it serves a purpose. Will I be buying the next, latest, greatest uh, digital SLR from Pentax or anybody else? No. I will purchase one if I need to because my camera died. But other than that, no. Will I be running out and buying the latest and greatest in Micro Four Thirds? No. The EP5 was an incredible deal. I got it for less than one half the price that it was being sold for in the US at the time. As a result, uh, it was a little hard to pass up. But now it will serve me until as I say, it dies and needs to be replaced. So, beware. Remember, camera companies just want your money. Uh, the only camera company that seems to be a little bit concerned with those of us who aren't professionals, which Canon and Nikon do take good care of, those of us who aren't professionals, uh, well, I guess the only company really that, that really does its best is Fuji, because at least they will keep bringing out uh, firmware upgrades that will make their older X models 
as close to the new models as they can get. Well, anyhow, <clears throat> I think I'm over my gas. Hopefully, I'm on the recovery. So long for now.